Everybody walks out of here. Nobody's ever stayed overnight. <laughs> no, no overnight stays. Everybody walks out. There you go. Real gentle. Here we go. I know. Here you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, my gosh. This, that has to be worked on right here until, Ed, can't you push any harder, you weenie little man. That's when you say that, we've arrived. I've always had back issues. Mainly my lower back is what uh, bothers me the most. Okay. Um, my hips, about two, three years ago is when they've started to bother me a lot, like very tender. Um, like in the morning I wake up and like they already hurt. Tell me, go and stand up for me, show me one finger where the most sim symptom is. Uh, right here. On the front here, uh, yes. front side, and that's been going on for how long? About two, three years. And did you remember any trauma or anything that started that? Just sort of woke up and it started yeah. hurting on the front side? Okay, and when you when you bring your leg up, when you if it deflect to bring your knee up, does that make it worse? Does anything make it worse mechanically? No, it's really just in the morning when I wake up in the morning. Just hurts it's there. Hurting, but it, no action makes it worse. No bending or no no running or anything. Okay. Um, has anybody taken an MRI of your lower back? Have, have we ever had any pictures? Not of your lower an back? MRI, but uh, X-rays. Mm -hmm. More likely than not, but we did investigate that, we need an MRI. What we're dealing with is because, worse in the morning is because the discs are swollen in the morning, and so more likely the disc is hitting the nerve in the morning, and then it goes out, it goes away because the disc sort of dries up a little bit and moves away from the nerve. Is there local pain in the lower back? There's local, <laughs> yeah. So like right she, here. She was bedridden at one yeah. point because of her back pain. It's like kind of like my tailbone Kay. area. Right here? Yes. Okay. So the, this would be just L5, lumbar. This is the lower back where we talked about. This is where most of the mechanical stress happens. That makes sense, lower back here. And that's been going on for how long? How long uh, was that bedridden? Probably ago? since I was like 16, 17 years old. Give me some history. I mean, just what happened? Horse falls? I just bicycle. remember one day I was cleaning around, like cleaning my room. Uh -huh. And like I just, like my back started hurting. So I just laid on the floor because like I couldn't move. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the, but the local pain is joint. So that's the knuckle in there that's inflamed. But when you're dealing with the, the hip, more likely than not, it's there could be something wrong with your hip, but generally it's going to hurt when you move it. Like, yeah, I, uh, I, I lift my leg up and it hurts inside the hip socket, you know, or I bend or I turn my hip a certain way and it hurts. But worse in the morning, and especially in the area, you're, it's not just one spot. It's kind of oh, this area here. Yeah. <laughs> We're dealing with nerve. To confirm that, we need a lumbar MRI. We'd have to, if we want to investigate that, I would highly suspect that there's disc injury, so we know with, there's joint injury, that's, and then to be bedridden probably is disc. The history would be something happened when you were a single digit age to allow you to have that 16 year old first, you know, awareness of, oh my gosh, my lower back. So you have to look a little bit more previous to that to find the cause bicycle fall, falling out of a crib. You know, something happened mm -hmm. at a young age that then precipitated and allowed that to, to happen. Yeah, I think actually when I was probably like seven or eight, I kind of remember that I fell and I remember like there was, Bam. yeah, like a really bad pain in my <sighs> tailbone. And then, <laughs> right, and so what happens is other areas compensate, things get tight. Let me look at you a little bit. Let's check forward. Um, you're in what we call right avoidance. <laughs> so the right hip is high and your right shoulder is high. So you know, you can have symptoms more on the left side now because you're in left what we call abuse and you're in right avoidance and so, and my right's fine, yeah, because you're you're tilting away from it, but I would typically say that's probably the original injury side and now you're, you've healed <laughs> over here. Mm -hmm. The right leg will look short, do you understand? Because the right hip is high and then this gets very silly really quick where one guy wants to push your hip back down and I go, well, the hip went up to get relief. Mm -hmm. It's not the problem. We have to the hip will come back down when there's no longer something to avoid. My question isn't why you have that pain. My question is why are you not hurting in all these other areas that you could have pain in? You understand? And the answer to that is, well, those areas don't work properly. They're all tight, and they're offloading all the stress to one area. And now that area is finally the one that's talking to you and saying it's hurting all the time. So I ask them a very inverted question. Why is your middle back not under stress? and not injured and what we would say on MRI, unremarkable. And I go, no, it's remarkable that an area of your back isn't aging, mm -hmm. whereby another area is aging too quickly and other area is under aging. So we're gonna check all those unremarkable areas, the ones that are typically stiff. Right. Take a deep breath in for me. It's okay, I got you. Head back, let your head go back. And go. 
Let it all go. Here we go. There we go. You did great. That's not scary. <laughs> Head back for me. Let it go. Here we go. Deep breath in. Here we go. One more. Let it go. Chin down. Exhale. Uh -huh. You all right? Yes. You're good. You're good. You're good. So just we're looking for fluidity, uh, movement in there. That area moving is where we're going to move the stress off the lower back to the middle back. Let's check your side. On your side face, your hands around your belly before I... Here we go. Good. Same thing. You got it. You're already moving. No! Not yet. <laughs> Deep breath in. And then exhale. Look over this shoulder as best you can. There you go. There we go. Deep breath in. One more time. Exhale. Exhale. You okay? Yeah. One scary. Other side. Deep breath. Exhale. There we go. Good. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Exhale. There we go. Beautiful. Face up for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, same thing. Right side of your neck is. And you were in the car together. So mm -hmm. you, I think it's the same. It's the same injury. <laughs> I'm almost seeing the identical. Right side of her neck's all popped out over here. Left side means like you both got. <laughs> the same force that tore your left side. All right, real gentle, I got you. Everybody walks out of here, nobody's ever stayed overnight. <laughs> no, no overnight stays, everybody walks out. There you go, it's real gentle, here we go, I know, here you go, there you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Let the tears flow. Just this top guy a little bit. Here we go, there you go, let it go, chin up. There you go, nice. All right? Yes. You're good. Yeah, okay. Neck doesn't like tilting to the right, and then the left lower ages at a faster rate. Okay. There you go. There you go. Breathe. There you go. Have you had deep tissue done? No, I actually don't like it. Oh. That's like she's the opposite of me. I'm like, get in there. And she's just like, no. just because it's, it's so tender? Yeah. I was oh. like, I just want to relax. Don't hurt me. <laughs> well, I think of it like, if you don't like doing your dental hygienist because your gums bleed, it's like, well, you're the person who needs to get your teeth clean. But like I said, I understand you've had you know, injury since you were 16. We have deep-rooted problems here. That's a young age to feel that. You understand that's not good that usually most people have an 18-year warranty where they don't feel much until after 18 or into their 20s. You know, 16 had them having a you know, debilitating injury. Life on the phones and looking down at computers takes this curve out of our neck. And so it's vital that we work your neck back Restore this curve. There we go. Do you feel it's like, like, doesn't want to go back here? Yeah, like neck. it doesn't feel natural. Right. Like it shouldn't be back there. Right. What's home is actually abnormal, and where you are, which is abnormal, is, feels normal. normal. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why I have a job. If, if it felt natural, you would need to be here. This, all of this would be redundant. Too much tickling? You okay? No, I'm okay. You okay? All right. I'll try to. If he's too hard, tell him. Please Don't let hesitate. me know. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try to, my goal is to surf and <laughs> ride the wave, ride the edge of what you can handle and then back off a little bit. I think that's worse when you get to the lower right here. back. Yeah, yeah, right here, yep. Yeah. This is, okay, I feel it, okay. Yeah, this is what causes the sciatic, or basically the nerve pressure you're feeling down your leg. It's the beginning of sciatica, is what that hip pain is. We have pressure in here. Okay, I got you, yeah. That's where the oldest injuries, the middle back, Right here is what got tight when you were probably single digit age. Something happened where this got tight and then by 16, your lower back's finally had enough. Mm -hmm. Feel how tight it is in here? Mm -hmm. I mean, my goodness, this is, Jesse's back felt like butter. <laughs> I mean, sorry if it's a competition, but I'm saying this is really tight right here. No. The left is not as bad, feel the difference? No. And then right here on her right middle, Oh my goodness. I told him, I said, I thought I was going to be worse after you guys walked out. And I guess I am worse than him. This, this right here, wow. All right. It's just time. we got to hold. Breathe and let that. This probably is going to be more effective with the dental. We're going to need more pinpoint pressure. Yours was more global. Your back was like the whole section from here to here. That's why I like the roller with your back because it was like, we have a lot of area that we need to treat. Her back, it's like, there's not, like, like when I, like she said earlier when I wrote her back, it's fine until you hit this spot right here. <laughs> Correct. That's where you need it. That's the problem. And where we're going to be 
No, do we really have to spend time on it? Yep, that's how we're gonna fix it. There we go. All right, breathe. I want every vertebrae doing what it was intended to do. And I, I am not surprised one iota that you don't like your back touched. <laughs> I don't suppose if my back felt like this, I'd want it touched either. It's, mm -hmm. But we need to start somewhere, wherever that is, and move to a place where it's not the end of the world to have your, you know, ticklish or, you know, that hopefully not tickling you, but stay right by the spine, right there, working on that. There are joints in here, right there, that need to be loosened. Okay. Right there. Tightness there, but also ticklish. Sorry, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, try to just. Usually, if you go deeper, just. Now it just hurts, Ed. <laughs> you just hurting me. Two down here. I'm just gonna do. I can. I could almost fix, fix this in one visit, but you wouldn't be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> Does it make sense? So we'd rather not do that. So we just spread it out over a few visits. Does that makes sense. But this that has to be worked on right here until Ed. Can't you push any harder, you weenie little man? That's when you say that we've arrived. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's right there. That's the second. That's, that's what we need right there. Whatever happened when you were single digit age <laughs> was right here. And then this area to quit, the lower back had not only its job to do, but everybody else's job to do, and it finally is saying it's had enough. Yeah, right there, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Levator scapula is an attachment here. Okay, okay. Not the butt, Ed. Anything but the butt. <laughs> the SI joint you talked about. Yeah, this, this joint had to quit to feel what you're feeling. Has anybody worked at this area? No? Not so much? Uh, no, not no? so much. You, you ignore this area. Yes, and we don't pet this area. <laughs> you gotta, somebody's got to dig in here and get rid of all this soreness. Can't have any tenderness. All right, yeah, it's pretty bad. Wow. I'm sorry. The nerves that come out of here wrap around to that front part of the hip. Is tickling too much? Uh, no. No, you okay? We gotta try to get, start at a milder level and work our way deeper and deeper.
Too much? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And it's, it's day by day we start confronting it brick by brick. We remove you know, that soreness in there. All right. Go ahead and tilt your head a little bit to the right for me. I got you. Tilt your head right. Tilt your head right. Okay. Tilt your head to the right. Yeah, a little piece. Yeah. It's still there. All right. I got you. Go ahead and tilt your head left. There you go. Who would have felt that? <laughs> Tilt your head to the left for me a little bit. Not the top one. No, no, we're gonna. All right, let me have you come over here on your back. <laughs> right, it's gonna be right over that spot that we were pushing on. Oh, I know. Come on, come on back. Come on, come on, head back. Come on. All right, you okay? Yes. I. We don't need to be going for the kill the first time you get on Denerol, <laughs> but we need to start showing you this lumbar lordosis, the lumbar curve. We want to slow the aging and the stress that's on their lower back and start diverting it to your middle back so that you're not continuing on that accelerated aging. Does that make sense? It's, it's really crucial and vital that we do this because nobody really looks at you as having a big problem until your foot's going numb, until <laughs> you're so weak down your leg that you can't walk and now all of a sudden it's surgical or we shoot anti-inflammatories into your back because the lower back gets so upset that it's so bruised now that you can't almost you can't move again. So this curve again makes the stress more evenly spread over your lower back, keeps your middle back moving. On this one, unlike the roller, you can't move around. You could use the roller also, but I think this would be a more effective tool for you because of how focused the pressure needs to be to fix your problem. Jesse's was a little bit more broad, and so I would like him on a roller for about a month to spread out the force because he's got all these ribs up here that are raised up. I don't detect as much upper back rib misalignment on yours. It's mainly just you're frozen in your middle back, and that frozen middle back is leading to a lower back overstress and then hip symptoms, which are really nerve from the lower back. That behind your back, and it's obviously a lot easier. <laughs> but that makes sense? Yeah. You have real support behind your back. The other way is these chairs aren't really meant for it, but a chair with a low back, you know, and you sit backwards on the chair. Does that make sense? You know, and you try to keep some arch to your back and not just rounding, mm -hmm. and that just feeds the problem. So you're spending time maintaining that and, and val valuing your curve in your back that, you know, just I'm the first person probably to, nobody, nobody said I, it was worth anything. Sorry. <laughs> it's, the most, it's, the most work, it's the most valuable thing we have is our alignment and that's because your spinal health isn't just about back pain or side all your organs are controlled by your uh, nerve system right the nerve system goes through your spinal column your heart your lungs your liver your kidneys and your spinal health is your health having that healthy spine having it age evenly is it's what it is health care yeah, well, and it also, like, takes away from your day-to-day -day activities, too. Like, sometimes when my back is bothering me, like, I don't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go for a walk, even though that, that's right. probably going to help me, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> right. What's the best way to, yeah, keep, ha best way to stay healthy long-term is keep moving. What's the biggest reason people stop moving? I'm in pain. I'm hurting. 